Hello friends and a good afternoon to all of you. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. Today we will see how to use a web plot digitizer to read an aqua ammonia enthalpy concentration diagram. I have already loaded this software on my computer. Loading it is very easy. It is an extremely simple process. So I will not be going into those details on how to download the software and how to load it. It is easily available on the net. Now let's go to the software. When you click the icon, this is the interface that you get. To read the graph, you have to load the image. So let's go with loading the image. I have already scanned the aqua ammonia enthalpy concentration diagram in JPEG. The scans that you have to do should be of high quality and high resolution so that it is easy to zoom it and read. So let's click on the graph and open it. This asks you now to choose the type of plot that you have. The plot that we have is a two-dimensional plot and it's an XY plot. Now we click on align axis. What is align axis? In this procedure, you have to fix the minima and the maxima of the graph that you want to read so that it automatically gets calibrated. So let's proceed with the aligning of the graph. We click on proceed and then we zoom it so that we can fix the points easily. Now first we fix x1 that is the minima of x and then we fix x2 that is the maxima of x. Then we fix y1, that is the minima of y. And we fix y2, that is the maxima of y. We are done with our axis calibration now. Now we should proceed with the calibration. We have already fixed the minimas and the maximas. So click complete. The minima of x is 0 and the maxima of x is 1. The minimum of y is minus 600 and the maximum of y is 3000. Click OK. Now we are good to go. A few things about the aqua ammonia enthalpy concentration diagram. The x axis is the concentration of ammonia in aqua ammonia solution and the y-axis is the enthalpy. The lower portion of the graph, that is this portion of the graph, gives you properties of the liquid solution of aqua ammonia. And the upper portion of the graph, that is this portion of the graph, gives you the properties of vapor solution of water and ammonia. So let's take an example to understand how to use it. Supposing we want to know what is the boiling temperature of a 20% solution at 4 bar. So we take 0.2 and we go up and we see where does it meet 4 bar. Now this is the line for 4 bar. Now these are the isobaric lines, so we have to see where the 4 bar isobaric line meets 20%, that is 0.2 and we get it here, so we click it here. Now the isothermal boiling line that passes through this point, the red point, is 
363.15 Kelvin. Therefore, the boiling temperature of a 20% aqua ammonia solution at 4 bar is 363.15 Kelvin. Now, if we want to know what is the enthalpy of this solution, we can go to view data and the information is available here. For a 0 0.199, that is 20% solution, the enthalpy of the liquid or the aqua ammonia solution is 245.56. Click close. Now, if we have a 20% ammonia solution at 4 bar and we want to know what is going to be the enthalpy and what is going to be the vapor concentration in equilibrium with this solution, how do we get this information? Once again, go to point 2. And move up to the upper part of the diagram. As told to you earlier, the upper part of the diagram gives you the vapor properties, the properties of the ammonia water vapor. Click on toggle extended crosshair. Come down, zoom out so that it is easier for us to do our work. Now align the vertical line along point 3 and go up and see where it crosses 4 bar. So it should be roughly here. In case we are not able to do it, we can zoom in always. So this is 0, this is 1, point 0.1, this is point 0.2, this is point 0.3. Now this line, vertical line representing, the, representing point 0.3 concentration, it meets 4 bar here. So click add point, come down here and click it. That's it. Click view data. So there we are, the second entry in this. A 30% solution of aqua ammonia. The vapor in equilibrium with the 30% solution of aqua ammonia will have an enthalpy of 1474.888 kilojoule per kg. Click close and click add point. Now we want to know what is the vapor concentration. Therefore, what we can do is get the crosshairs on the red dot that we have clicked here. Now move horizontally and see where the horizontal line meets 4 bar. To have a better reading, we can always zoom in. So therefore we zoom in and we move it. Now we see this is the 4 bar line. So we follow the 4 bar line down, we follow it down and we follow it till it we get the crosshairs in line with the red dot on our left and we click it. So this is our concentration of the vapors which is in equilibrium with the 20% aqua ammonia solution at 4 bar. Well we have clicked a wrong point here 
can we delete it yes we can delete it click delete point go above this point and click it now the point gets deleted now this is our actual point now click on view data and there we are let's take a stock of the three readings the first reading gives you the concentration the enthalpy of an aqua ammonia solution which is at 20% concentration. The second reading gives you the enthalpy of a 30% vapor solution and then afterwards the fourth third reading gives you the vapor concentration in equilibrium with a 30% solution of aqua ammonia therefore the vapor concentration of any vapors in equilibrium with the 30 percent aqua ammonia solution is 0.95 and its enthalpy will be 14 point sorry 1469.7889 now how do we export this information now this information may be useful for to us in certain calculations now how do we export it we click on download csv click on desktop give a name to a file and click save now we close our software now this is the information which has been taken up from web plot digitizer and stored in a CSV format. Such files can be opened in Excel to read. That was all about web plot digitizer. If you have any queries, do write to me. I would be glad to take them up and explain. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.